I'm here with Martin Henderson, who stars in Grey's Anatomy. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. How did you get involved in the show? Um, well, there's a bit of a backstory. I, um, I did a pilot about eight years ago with uh, for Shonda Rhimes called Inside the Box, which was a show about, it's kind of like Grey's Anatomy set in the journalism world of Washington, D.C. And that didn't get picked up. Um, and then a couple of years after that, I did a short-lived show called Off the Map mm -hmm. for her. Well, she executive produced, she didn't write it. Uh, and so about a year ago, I got a call from her office saying she'd like to meet me and I went in and met her and her producer partner and they talked about a couple of things, but we talked about Grey's Anatomy and being a new doctor and I um, was very excited and went away and thought about it for a little while and decided it would be a, a fun thing to do. And Although I had no idea, I called her up and I said, look, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna say yes to the offer, so thank you, but you never mentioned who my character is. And she said, well, we don't know. And I said, well, what do you mean? Who am I gonna be playing? I mean, every, you know, it's a, I could be there for a few years, like, what, what do you want me to do? And she said, well, we'll figure that out. We'll, we'll write you in lightly, we'll see your dynamic with other actors, and then I'll, I'll sort of write to what I think will work really well. So, so it's kind of like being in a social experiment in front of millions of people all around the world where she's exploring my character through stuff she's picking up from me that she thinks is going to be good for the audience. So it's um, kind of improvisational in that sense. Mm -hmm. And did you watch the show before you joined? I had, yes, yeah. I had, yeah. yeah. So that helped you make the decision? It, it did, it did. I wasn't as familiar with it recently. I'd watched some older stuff, um, and I, I, I don't, don't really watch a lot of TV. Um, so I went and looked at some of the more recent episodes, you know, and seasons, and got a feel for it. Um, and, you know, I, I was excited because I think one of the things that appeals to me about the show as an audience member, but also as an actor, is it, it, it's sort of, it's not stuck in one style all the time. You can be doing very dramatic life and death stuff and, you know, uh, the dramatic relationship stuff. And, and then there's a lightness as well. And there's almost like a, you know, there's a goofy comedic element. And... I kind of like that the show goes to all those areas because as a performer, especially when you're signing on for a long time on a show, it, one thing that's off-putting for me is that just having to do the same thing every day. And I think what's unique about the show is it, it can be very dramatic and, and, and very heartfelt, but it can also be very light and fun. So I'm hoping with Riggs' character, I get to do a lot of that. And how long have you signed on for? <laughs> uh, I've I've signed on for a few years. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Yeah, anything's possible. <laughs> um, and do you have a favorite episode at all? The, the I love the the episode where Meredith is carrying around a penis. Do you remember that? In the ice. I just there's something so funny about hearing the word penis that I'm just going to keep saying it for the rest of this interview. And uh, I think there's a scene where Sandra O's character comes over to her and she's sitting there. She said, what are you doing? She said, oh, I'm just sitting here minding this penis. And I, I don't know. I just thought that was um, very funny. It appeals to my 12-year-old sense of humor anyway. And did you think when you were in Shorten Street that one day you would be in another massive hospital drama? No. No, I didn't, actually. And it strikes me every now and again I'll be on set on Grey's Anatomy and... and uh, you know, but in between takes, I'll, if I'm having trouble with the scene, if it's not going the way I want, I, I tend to walk away and find a dark corner on the edge of the set and just go over the scene and, and, and try to figure out how to play it. And it struck me the other day, I was standing there in, the, in sort of the, you know, the side of the set where all the big lights are stored. And, and, and it was, I was like, wow, I'm doing the same thing I was doing 20, 20 something years ago. But now it's just on the other side of the Pacific, and it, it's kind of odd. But 